Hey guys, Zero here again with another Wargaming Wednesday. And today we are looking at some expansions for the World of Tanks game that I picked up recently and I wanted to show you guys really quick. We're going to look at today the um, Tiger One and the M26 Pershing. Um, they're pretty cool little expansions. I just picked them up because I really wanted the Tiger. <laughs> and I knew the Pershing was probably one of the only other tanks that could handle it. So. Let's get these over to the table, crack them open, and see what comes inside. Sit tight. All right, so here we are. These are the. Um, this is the Gale Force Nine. World of Tanks um, expansion set for the miniatures game, and this is the Tiger One, and this is the M26 Pershing. Let's take a look at this Pershing real quick. It's a pretty simple blister package. That's the art on the card there, and uh, it's interesting. Um, when you purchase these, each one of these comes with a code for you to use in the World of Tanks video game. That's kind of cool. Okay, here's everything that comes in the package. You get your, your sleeve here, and in this sleeve is actually where the code is and how to redeem the code for the actual video game. Let's get that stuff away real quick. And here's the stack card and the five upgrade cards that it comes with. All right, so here it is. Um, these are the uh, bonus cards you get with this set but you don't actually have to use them for this set like this here this symbol indicates that it can be used for any tank you know and then this symbol here indicates that it has to be used for an american tank so that's how it is with most of the cards in the game you know some are most of them are like generic and anybody can use them and then there are some that are army faction specific which makes sense We've got our stack card here. As you can see, it's got, it's got some pretty good health. Um, firepower is pretty high. It's a six. Wow, initiative five. He's going to be moving slow as hell, but he's going to be shooting quick. And then there's a little bit of history there about the Pershing. Okay, let's take a look at the tank. Pretty big for for this size of kits. I'll show you guys in a second uh, some comparisons. It's pretty cool. Got some basic detail on the treads there. And I mean to get all that stuff on a one one hundred scale or fifteen millimeter scale, it's you know it's pretty good. It's decent enough. You got the detail. You got some detail, but it's not to the point where. You know, it's like insane detail that you're probably not going to paint or miss. Turret comes off. That hull is huge. It's got this little stowage rack here. Some extra tracks. And the cannon. pretty cool here it is next to the um, m3 Lee and the m4 Sherman you can see how much bigger it is these are medium tanks and obviously that's a heavy tank I've been uh, trying to paint these guys up just a little bit just to give them some kind of color and I'll do that I'll probably do the same thing to the Pershing Alright, let's take a look at this bad boy. It's the one I've been waiting for. The uh, Tiger One. The most infamous tank in World War II. Alright, here is the Tiger One and everything that it comes with. We've got the slip cover for the um, code for the game. We've Let's go through these real quick first. We've got the um, upgrade cards. This one's German only. 
another for the Germans. And then we've got two standard cards. Honestly, I don't know. I don't think from what I read, it doesn't seem like each card goes very specifically with that tank, you know, which is kind of nice because <laughs> when I got the box set, all those cards were all mixed together anyway. <laughs> so, you know, that is what that is. So let's take a look here. Our firepower five, survivability of two, mobility of two, initiative of four. Wow, look at hit points though. And it is 65 points. Mm -hmm. So if you look at that next to the, the purging, right? Like purging 71 points. It's got one more firepower, um, but a higher initiative the same uh, survivability and mobility but the hit points look at the difference Tiger's got way more hit points there's a card there so this is actually a heavy tank and the, <laughs> the Persian Pershing is actually a medium tank all right here we are with the tank and this kit is really, really detailed. They've got all the Zemric, Zemric, I think that's what it's called. Uh, it's that extra coating of material that they put on the armor to kind of help with uh, AP and def like armor, de like round deflection. The size of those treads. And the 88 millimeter cannon it's a good thing these are primed you can see like this side here didn't get any primer this right here all right here it is next to the panzer 4 and the stug 3 you can see, like, just a much beefier tank. Even though the Panzer's got that skirt armor, it's still, like, its frame is just way smaller, you know. In the stug. It's just right underneath the cannon. <laughs> All right, so there you go, man. That is the World of Tanks or Gale Force Nine World of Tanks uh, miniatures game, Tiger One and M twenty six Pershing. So I'm gonna get these guys painted up as soon as I can because I'm gonna be having a game really soon with my buddy, and we're gonna check and see if this game is worth uh, committing to even further. And I, like I said, I bought these because it's, it's the tiger. You know what I mean? Like, you, come on. You know? <laughs> and uh, if, it, if, it's, if it's a lame game, which I don't think it will be, then we'll stop here. No harm, no foul, you know? But if it's if it's as good as I think it's going to be, or as it seems, you know, because it just went through the rules and stuff, it, it seems pretty good. So I'm probably going to invest in more of these tanks. So I'll keep you guys posted. And as always, guys, like, subscribe, share, and thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.